Okay, we've learned some formulas for the probability of dependent and independent events. So let's uh, tackle some problems. Here we have 10.5a number 15. We have a jar that contains 12 red, 16 blue, and 18 white marbles. And we're asked to find the probability of drawing three non-white marbles in a row. Well, if we add the total of n uh, number of marbles together, we find we find that the total number is going to be 12 plus 16, 28, uh, plus 18 is equal to 46. So the probability of drawing, well, let's set up our equation here, the probability of A, B, and C is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A times the probability of C given A and B. So the probability of A, I have 28 non-white marbles. So the probability of A is 28 over 46. That's the probability of picking one non-white marble. And then assuming I don't replace it, meaning the second outcome is going to be affected by the first because I've taken out one red or blue marble. So now I only have 27 non-white marbles left out of the 45. After I select the second, again, the third event is affected. So I only have 26 marbles left out of 44. So the probability of A, B, and C is going to be 28 46 times 27 45ths times 26 44ths. Next problem is 10.5A, number 5. And we're trying to find out what the probability of A is. Now, in the prior case, we had uh, outcomes which were dependent. And in this case, we have events which are independent, which means that they don't affect each other. So simply the probability of A and B in a case of dependent events is just the probability of A times the probability of B. So we know the probability of A and B is 0 0.028. We know the probability of B is 0 0.04. And we can calculate then by dividing 0 0.028 by 0 0.04 that the probability of A is going to be 0.7. In the next event, uh, next problem, we have events A and B. They're dependent, which means that they affect each other. And we're trying now to find the probability of A. So we set up our equation. Probability of A uh, is equal to the probability of A, say A and B, is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A. Well, I know that the probability of A and B is 0.35. And I know the probability of B given A is 0.7. So I know that the probability of A is going to be 0.35 over 0.7. And so the probability of A is going to be 50%. In our final question, we're going to take a problem from 10.5B, number 8. And this one, you're not, the book has kind of thrown this problem in there just to make you think about what you're doing and not to just jump in and put together um, a solution based on the formulas that you currently have. So in this case, you're not going to be able necessarily to use the formula that we learned, but you're going to have to apply what you know about probabilities of dependent and independent events. All right, so the question is, if you were to select a number from 1 to 40, what is the probability that it is the number 15, given that the card is a multiple of 3? Well, what we first need to do is find out how many multiples of 3 there are in 1 through 40. So we count them out. There's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, and 39. And that leaves us as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, different multiples of 3. Now, out of those 13 different multiples of 3, only 1 is a 15. So our answer is going to be 1 over 13. And that's it. There are no other formulas. You have to figure this one out on your own.